Bonjour, today let's practice our imperfect or imparfait in French. Now, today we're looking at third group verbs. Remember that there is a support guide available with this lesson, so join my community if you want to have access to those awesome support guides and my live lessons as well, by the way. We're going to look at how to conjugate a verb in the imparfait, or in English we would say imperfect or past tense, okay? Now, what is the imparfait? Let's have a look at, uh, at it, okay? So, if... We look at the past tenses. We've got quite a few in French, and we have learned how to conjugate a verb in the passé composé. Now, the passé composé is an action that took place and is gone, done, over, with. So it is like saying, I have played, I played. It's an action that took place in the past and is gone, done, over, with. We've learned how to uh, form this using an auxiliary verb, to be, être, or to have, avoir, okay? Plus the past participle that comes with this. But we're looking at the imparfait today. Now, the imparfait is a past tense referring to an action that took place over a certain uh, amount of time. So it's something that used to happen or was a habit or was happening, okay? In English, the equivalent would be if we take to do as an example, it would be I used to do this or I was doing this, okay? Now, what we want to do before we get on into practicing uh, the, the verbs here that I'm about to do with you is how do we form the imparfait using irregular verbs? We've seen how to use the regular verbs ER and the regular verbs IR into their imparfait okay, form. But is it very different when we're using irregular verbs? Now, how do we form the imparfait? In order to form the imperfect, the right endings need to be added to the right stem of the chosen verb. So you may ask, what is the right stem? Because I know the endings of the imperfect. But let's have a look at the endings first, and then we'll figure out what the, uh, the, the stem will be and how to uh, build it, construct it in effect. Okay? So let's have a look at the endings of the imperfect. For je... It is a. So what I'm doing here, and I'm going to use my red pen here. Here, have a look at that. Okay. A. Which means that before that, there will be a stem attached to that. Okay. Stem of the verb we want to conjugate plus a. Okay. And that works for any verbs, regardless whether they are first, second, or third group. The ending will reflect the fact that it is used into the imparfait, or a past tense, or imperfect, okay? For tu, the ending is a as well, same pronunciation. For il, it is a, same pronunciation, but it has a t. For elle, it is a with a t. For on, it is a with a t. Now, what you need to know is that il, elle, and on are always conjugated the same way, okay, together. Il, elle, on. Now, for nous, it's ion. I-O-N-S, and not on only, because that's the ending of the present tense, it's ion. You add an I, suddenly it is projecting you in the past, okay? For vous, it is ie, okay, I-E-Z. And for il and l, as in they, it's the same, it is l, okay? So this is they. Okay, the endings is the same. So in terms of pronunciation, well, we have a, 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 ion, ie, a. So the pronunciation is the same. The spelling is somewhat different, okay? So we've got the endings of the imperfects, which, by the way, are exactly the same as the conditional endings. But that's another story, and that's another stem completely, okay? But so you know. What is the right stem of the verb? Now, how do we form the stem for irregular verb? We've learned how to do that for regular verb. We've learned how to do that for IR verbs, which are semi-regular. I mean, they are regular, except that they end in IR. Okay? If you're not familiar with that, please go back to the practice your French, the imparfait with ER and imparfait with IR verbs. Okay? For irregular verbs, and we know that it's crazy, okay? For irregular verbs, 
use the stem of the present form of nu and add the endings that I have just said. Ah, what does that mean? Well, let's take a couple of verbs as an example. I'm going to use prendre. Prendre is to take, and it's highly irregular because have a look at that, it ends with re. It is not er, it is not ir. Though, you have some verbs that end in IR that are third group verb, irregular verbs, okay? But let's not concentrate on that now. Ooh. I like that. Well, Alexa tells me that, but then she tells me there is an exception. Alexa says that, and then she says, well, actually, no, that doesn't work all the time. I'm so sorry about that, but that's, that's you know, teaching grammar for you. Prendre, to take, okay? What is the new version of the present tense of prendre? Je prends, tu prends. Il prend. So I'm conjugating I take, you take, he takes. Je prends, tu prends, il prend, elle prend, on prend. And then we take the new version, nous prenons. It's slightly different from prend. Nous prenons, vous prenez, ils prennent, elles prennent. And this is why it's highly irregular, because it doesn't match much of a pattern. ER verbs will match the same pattern. Uh, uh, and um, RE verbs do not. So, nous Prenons, okay, gives me the stem. So can you see the stem here? Underlining here, underlining, underlining, I can't say it. Okay, prenons. Okay, so this is what we need. Once you have the stem, okay, you can therefore build your imparfait. So here we go. We take the stem, which is prenons, and you add your imperfect ending, which, by the way, are here. Can you say that? Eh, 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 ion, ie, eh. Okay, so je prenais, I used to take, I used to take, or I was taking. Okay, and that's what I mean by a past tense that had somehow carried on in the past. You know, it started and it carried on over uh, uh, some period. Tu prenais. You used to take, you were taking. Il prenait, he used to take, he were taking. Elle prenait, on prenait. Nous prenions, we used to take, we were taking. Vous preniez, you used to take, you were taking. And il prenait, elle prenait, they used to take, they were taking. Okay? So that's how we form the imparfait for irregular verb. Now let's have a look at voir, because voir is, wow, wacky. Now, voir, the new form of the present tense, is nous voyons. Again, it's something that you need to know. Je vois, tu vois, il voit, nous voyons, vous voyez, il voit. Once you have the stem, you've got the beginning of the imperfect. So, voy, can you see? And then you add those special endings. Je voyais, I used to see, I was seeing. Tu voyais, il voyait, nous voyons, vous voyez. Il voyait. And have a look at that sound here. Nous voyons. You don't hear the I-O-N-S. There is already a U sound in voyez. Okay. And vous voyez. Same here. Okay. And this is why uh, it is so complicated. Okay. And I would, and this is why I have done that, if I were you, try to learn some of the stem that we use in the imperfect for third group verb, okay? So, useful uh, stems here, stems of irregular verbs to know to form uh, the imperfect in French. For example, apprendre, the stem is apprendre, and then you stick the endings of the imperfect. Boire, to drink, is buve, so je buvais, tu buvais, il buvait. Alice, al, j'allais, tu allais, il allait. Lire is lise, so that's to read. Je lisais, tu lisais, il lisait. Venir is ven, je venais, tu venais, il venait. Attendre is to wait, j'attendais, tu attendais, il attendait. Avoir is to have, j'avais, tu avais, il avait, and so on. Faire is fuzz, je faisais, tu faisais, il faisait, nous faisions. Vouloir is voul, je voulais, tu voulais, il voulait. Pouvoir is pouve, je pouvais, tu pouvais, etc. Now, not that, I mean, I've got an asterisk here that uh, when you conjugate je pouvais, for example, means I was able to, but it means I could as well. But that's another uh, story, it's just to point out. The exception is être. Être, when you put it in your present tense, is nous sommes. But you don't say je sommais, tu sommais. Okay, as the same. It's actually j'étais. Tu étais, il était, nous étions, vous étiez, ils étaient. Again, learn avoir and être. 
by heart in all kind of tenses, the present, the passé composé, the imparfait, the future, and so on, because that will help you conjugate other tenses later on. Let's have a go. Okay, so we are ready now to try to conjugate the verb dormir. Now, dormir is an IR verb, but it is actually a third group verb here, okay? You've got IR verbs that belong to the second group and some that belong to the third group. Again, learn the second group's IR because there's not that many of them useful to learn, okay? And then you can imagine that the rest will be third groups. So, il dormir, so to sleep, toujours dans la chambre de sa sœur. So, we want to say, he used to sleep or he was sleeping always in his sister's chamber, I mean, bedroom, okay? How do you say he used to sleep? Well, we know that the ending for il, and we are going to go back here, okay? And eventually you'll have to do it yourself. Let's have a look. So, I'm going to take green. Il, can you say that? Is A-I-T. Okay, fine. So, we are going to use A-I-T because that's what the chart says. So, A-I-T, okay? We know that. But what is the stem of that verb? For dormir, and you may not know that, we take just dorme, okay? So, we add it to the ending, dorme. And here we've got il dormait, and that means he used to sleep. Il dormait toujours dans la chambre de sa sœur. He always used to sleep in his sister's bedroom. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Nous, te parler. And vouloir, which we have as an example above, okay, means to want. So, we want to say we, as in nous, used to want to talk to you, or we were wanting to talk to you. Okay, if that makes sense. So, or we wanted to talk to you, because vouloir often um, is translated a bit like être and avoir and vouloir and pouvoir. They are very different uh, in terms of uh, putting themselves in space, in space, <laughs> in the past tense, okay? Uh, and then uh, you can translate we used to want or we were wanted um, as we wanted, okay? So, we want to use the imperfect for this so, vouloir, the stem, no, the ending is I-O-N-S, okay, we know because we've seen that before. If not, please watch this video again. Nous, voul is the stem, nous voulions. We used to want or we wanted to talk to you. We wanted, okay, nous voulions te parler. Now, let's have a look at the next one. The next one we want to say, faire. Okay, in a negation. Okay, now, we want to say, faire is to do. Les enfants, the children, to do. Alors, ah, to do natation. Natation is swimming. So, they used to do swimming or they used to swim, okay, on Wednesday, le mercredi. But it's in a negation. So, the children didn't used to swim on the Wednesday, on Wednesday. Okay, so, faire, you need the stem of faire and you need the ending. But what the difficulty is here is les enfants. What is the uh, subject pronoun replacing les enfants? Have a look at the subject pronoun here. Can you place it here? Can you place it? I'm going to use yellow just because. Okay, so, where is les enfants? Is it je? No, it's I. Is it tu? No, because it's the children. So where do you place the children here in terms of a subject pronoun? That's right. It is they, okay? And more precisely, il, okay? So, il, they, okay? And the ending is A-I-E-N-T. So, if we know that, we are going to write our little sentence here as A-I-E-N-T. But we are not finished, of course. We want to say the children did not do swimming on Wednesdays, okay? So, fair, the stem is, let's have a look, do we have it here? Yes, it's here. Can you see it? Fuzz, okay. So, we take it back here and I'm going to put it this way so you can see better. Les enfants faisaient de 
la natation. Sorry, we're missing la natation. You could have told me, guys. La natation. Here we go. La natation. Les enfants faisaient de la natation le mercredi. OK? But we want to put this into the negation. So in order to do that, we want to add ne in front of the verb and pas after the verb always when you use ne pas, not. So les enfants ne faisaient pas de natation le mercredi. And that means the children did not do or didn't used to do or were not doing uh, uh, swimming on a Wednesday. Remember to click on the join button if you want access to the support guides to these lessons that I do on YouTube and access to the live shows as well. It's super cool. Au revoir, à bientôt. Subscribe, leave a comment. Bisous, bisous.